Tonight, we are going to make doggy treats, homemade doggy treats. We are going to use three cups of flour, two cups of oats, one cup of peanut butter, one cup of unsweetened applesauce, this is homemade that I canned, and one teaspoon of baking powder. Now, I do have an actual doggy bone shaped uh, cookie cutter, but... I find it's more fun. I got these at Christmas. I have a star. I have a, a flower and a heart. I like those better. It gives a little bit more difference than just the doggy bone. So we are going to mix these ingredients together and then we'll bake them. So we'll come back here in a minute when we're ready to put them into the mixer. Okay, we're, we're going to add the ingredients into our KitchenAid to mix them up. We're going to start with the wet ingredients, so the applesauce, actually we need to lift that up, actually it's e actually even easier if you just don't have that on there at the time. We're going to put the um, applesauce in there. I know, try to get every drop out. I I'm just like that. Okay, so we got the applesauce. We're going to take the peanut butter. We're going to put that in there. Dogs love peanut butter. Now, they don't like peanut butter stuck to their tongue and the roof of their mouth, but they do love the taste. So don't give it to them plain and laugh while they try to get it off the top of their mouth. That's just not right. Okay, so we've got the peanut butter and the applesauce. We're going to go ahead and add the oats. Now, I am going to go ahead and put the uh, the mixer on. We're going to drop it down, lock it down, and just put it on low and let it just kind of mix that up. So that it's ready because we still have flour and baking soda to add. So as you can see it's still pretty wet. <clears throat> now we're going to shut that off. We'll unhook it here. And yeah it's stuck on there but we're going to kind of push it down in. Go ahead and drop our flour in, which I'm making a mess of. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put our teaspoon of baking, baking uh, powder, powder in there. So we'll put this down. We'll lock it down. And just on low, we'll mix it up. Now, if it's way too dry... They said it depends on your peanut butter, how much you need to mix, that you might need to actually add a little bit of oil into this, and I don't know, let's see, let's shut it off and look, because it is looking really dry, so let's kind of give it a look, it's, yeah, see it's not one to really stick together real good, so I think... <clears throat> we'll put a little bit of vegetable oil in there. Whoop, on low. We're just going to drizzle a bit. And see what that gives us. Because you want it to stick together because you have to be able to roll it out. So... If all those fails, put a little bit of water in it. Let's turn that off. Let's look at that. Yeah, that's still pretty dry. I mean, it's not hardly wanting to hold the shape. So we're going to get a little water. <clears throat> and we'll just add a little bit at a time. To get it a little bit more the consistency that we want. A little too high. Not a little stupid with it. Oh, gosh. Good 
good lord. Okay, don't do that too much. <laughs> wow, okay. We're gonna mix it until we get it to a, like a forming consistency. You don't want it sticky sticky, but you want to be able to roll it out and put it into a dough. I'm not... Let's turn that off. Let's see. Mm, maybe a little bit more water. Turn her on just a bit. And then I think we'll be able to bring it over and lay it out on the table. Yeah, it sure sounds like it. It's getting wet, that's for sure. Oh, wow. I've never had one try to come out of the... Wow, okay. <laughs> I think we're probably good enough. I think what we'll do is we will... Oh, yeah, look at that. That's pretty heavy. So that's a good consistency because it definitely will stay together. Maybe if I can get it out of there. Okay. And it, it falls right off of the beater, so that's great. So we're going to come back and we have it over on the table... And we're going to roll it out, cut it out, and put it on our cookie sheets. Now, our cookie sheets are greased. We actually put um, some spray on, nonstick spray on to them. So that, and we're going to bake them in a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. So we're going to come back and we have them on the table and we're going to cut them okay, out. Okay, so we mixed it up. Now we've got it. I put a little bit of that wheat flour down. Um, I have used white flour in the dog biscuits. But wheat flour is definitely better for your dogs. So I did go and buy this bag. And it's the Stafford County Flour Mills Hudson Cream. I don't know. <clears throat> it, was, it wasn't it was that expensive. But so we've got it all together. I put a little bit of flour down so it wouldn't stick. And you're supposed to roll it out. Whoa, whoa. Okay, now we'll have to wash that. But... Basically, you want to roll this out, get kind of in it together, and um, we're going to roll it out to about half inch thick. Like I said, I the doggy cutters I have, I do have a doggy biscuit cutter that is a dog bone, and it's it's fine, it's all good, but sometimes they need other fun shapes. Now, it looks like we're starting to kind of break apart here, so maybe we need it. It's, it's not super sticky. If you notice, it doesn't stick to my hand. I mean, it's, it's not. I have made some dog biscuits that are very sticky and stick. So, um... We don't really want to add a whole lot of extra flour to this. You just really kind of want to make it work the way it is. So let's let's go ahead and try to cut a few. See what we get. So yeah, we're we're about half inch. So we're gonna. Got a few stars. Yeah, let's use the heart. Can't use the uh, flower since I dropped it on the floor. I know the dogs probably won't care, but I care. Oh, we didn't come out. And this cuts really nice. I have made some that just do not cut very nice they're kind of you you gotta watch your doggy biscuits now it also depends on the size of your dog um our dogs are all medium to large dogs so i think that makes a difference and i think that if you had a small dog uh, you wouldn't want that. That's an awful big treat for a small dog. Um, for a hundred pound dog, I'm thinking that this is a good size treat. 
this is this is good for them so we're gonna lay these over here I'm gonna finish cutting these out I'm gonna wash my other one so I can have some different ones and then we'll come back when we're getting ready to put them on their tray and put them in the oven all right we've cut out our cookies placed them on two greased cookie sheets and we are gonna put those in the oven my oven's not very big so we're we may have to switch them around halfway through but we're going to put them in at 300 and actually i think it's 375 degrees for 25 minutes actually my oven cooks fast i'm going to do 20 minutes and check them but you basically want them golden brown, and then you kind of want them hard. I mean, you want to, you know, like a dog biscuit. So we're going to give that time, and we'll check it when that time is ended. And then maybe if they cool off, we can see if the doggies like them. Okay, here they are. Now, I do have to say that we cook them a good extra 30 minutes so basically an hour in the oven and yeah here's somebody already waiting because he smells them but we actually cook these an extra hour the uh this particular recipe says that whatever you cook and don't feed to your dogs you can put in the fridge but we like to cook them till they're hard and i mean you know like dog biscuit hard because they store in a regular container outside of the fridge and these little puppies are one of the puppies they like them to be crunchy so we actually cook these at 350 for an hour and let them actually get hard like a crunchy dog biscuit so we have to let them cool and then we'll come back and we'll see what the dogs think of them. okay our treats finally cooled off and we put them in a container so now we're going to see if the puppies like them. So let's get the can open. Oh. Who's first? Oh gosh, let's not run me over. I can't get the camera back far enough. You guys are just, you can have the first one. Don't inhale it. All right, Daisy, you get the next one. And Jippy, you get the last one. Well, apparently, Daisy's thinking about it. She's afraid somebody else might get another one. <laughs> but they like them. I think they turned out okie dokie. So, there they are. Clean up your mess now. You're not getting any more. I'll feed you breakfast. But that's homemade dog treats. And they do like them. <laughs>